Hey everyone, today we're gonna make this super cute birch tree piece of art for fall. This is a really easy and quick project that I know you'll love. So let's start by taking a piece of watercolor paper. I chopped a nine by 12 piece in half, so that would be what, nine by uh, six. And I'm gonna tape the edges to make this really crisp border. I'm using blue tape to do that because it peels off of the paper really easily. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we've got a nice border. So we're gonna take washi tape for most of the birch tree trunks. And I'm using ones with different sizes to give a little bit of depth. It's okay if you just have one size, but I like to use as many sizes as you can. So um, go ahead and grab your washi tape. And what you're gonna do is find the edge and get a length of tape and put it across your piece of paper. And since trees are from nature, they're not perfectly straight. So mine's a little off as you can see. So with that, then do another one. Wherever you want, you don't have to follow mine perfectly. This will look different. And one more, I'm doing it the other way. We're just imagining a field of birch trees, or a forest of birch trees. And then from here, I'm using my skinny tape. So I'll find the edge. This one's hard to find. And we'll imagine some smaller birch trees in the distance. So they're gonna cross with the larger ones. And that's a good thing. Now washi tape is gonna be water resistant, so that's why we're using it on top of the watercolor, or underneath the watercolor. But if you don't have washi tape, you can also use blue tape or masking tape. We don't want too many trees because it will block all the details that we're gonna do. So I think this is actually pretty good. Now if you have smaller tape like mine, you can actually Get a couple of pieces and use them for branches on your bigger trees. So I'm gonna do that. I'll put on this one here. So I'm putting it at an angle. Imagining it going off the paper, across the paper. It'll be on different angles here. Different levels. That's pretty good. Okay, I need one more up here. There's larger to smaller birch trees, and I think I'll call that a go. And next we'll take a white crayon. Now this is also water resistant, of course, and so we're gonna imagine the smaller branches coming off of the trees here. So they're hard to see, um, but just do your best. I'm gonna do one line here, I'm gonna do the smaller lines for the other branches. Oh, picked up a little bit of color. That's okay, because it'll come off, or it'll blend more when we have the watercolor. Just imagine those smaller branches coming off the branches that we already did. And then for the smaller trees, they're gonna need smaller branches anyways, so you can draw those in. They should be going different directions. Make sure you're pressing hard enough that the wax really does cover the paper where you're putting it. You don't wanna um, do it too lightly here because it won't have the same effect. as many branches as you want, or few. If you like fewer, that's fine too. Make sure to crisscross with each other. It's hard to tell, but we'll see when we put the watercolor on. 
So we'll switch to watercolor. Today I have a Koi watercolor set. This is a travel set. It's one of my favorites because it has such saturated color. I'm gonna take a cup of water and just put a little dab on each of the colors just so they're ready to go. From here I have um, several different sizes of brushes. I've got a fan brush, a small brush, and a medium round brush. Um, and I think I'll oh, I think I'll do this one actually, this medium round brush. Um, so we're gonna start with the color of the background. Now you can choose any color palette you want, but I love the blue, orange, yellow of fall. So that's what I'll be following for this one. So I'm gonna imagine that there's sky behind these trees. And then once the trees get so thick and their foliage, you can't see the sky. So the sky is actually on the bottom, which is kind of odd. Um, before we get to painting, we're gonna do a little water wash. So dip your, brother, your brush in the water and just do a wash of water just on the bottom third, we'll say. You can probably already see where your branches are gonna stick out. So take a darker blue, if you're following me, and just kind of add it in little blobs your background. If you don't have a lot of water, you can always add more. Just doing kind of blobs. I'll take a lighter blue and put in blobs in between. Generally, we want the darker to be at the bottom. That gives a little bit of depth to the background. So I'll take more of my light blue up here. You don't need a straight line. It should be kind of up and down because that's how the foliage will reveal the background. It won't be a straight line. I'll take my dark blue down here to make sure more of the shadows. Oh, you can see the branches emerging already. All right, when you're happy with it, we'll go ahead and move on to the top. So we'll do the same. Just a brush of water, just pure water. The brush has a little bit of blue on it, but that's okay. Water up here, and we're gonna cover it with that same dab technique um, using oranges and yellows. You throw in reds and browns in there, whatever fall colors you want to bring in. Now this one, we don't have to do light to dark or anything. We just dab it wherever you want. And the colors can mix between blue and the leaves. Love that yellow. Just make sure all the paper, all the white parts of the paper are covered up. Looks a little bit crazy now with the washi tape, but it's gonna be amazing. So as you can see, I'm adding a tiny bit of little dots down here as the leaves kind of blend into the sky. And that's it. We don't wanna to touch it too much because we might lose that um, bright quality. So I'll leave this to dry and come on back. Hey, by the way, if you like how easy and simple this is, Make sure you like this video and leave a comment. That way I know to make more videos just like this one. All right, it's all dry. Let's go ahead and pull up the washi tape. You'll have to do it in stages because all the tape will overlap. I 
るわけにはいかねー。Sometimes the washi pulls up a little bit of the paper, but I really don't mind because it kind of adds texture to the tree. There we go. Ooh, that one pulled up. If you find a way around that, leave me a comment below so I can、um, figure out how to get around that one. Okay, so from here, what we just did was basically the background. So we need to add trees or leaves on top and also the texture of the birch trees. So let's start with the texture of the birch trees. I'm going to use a fan brush for this. And I'll dip it in the water and get a little of brown. You can use whatever shade of brown you'd like. I think. For my first one, I did dark brown, but this one I think I'll try golden brown. That's this, this one right here. I'm just dabbing a little bit of paint so it's not super wet. With my fan brush, this is a stiff brush that's actually for acrylic, so it'll give a little bit more of a、um, dry effect. And that's what we're gonna do is just kind of do a little stripe across. And I'm imagining, see, there's two trees here that are overlapping. So I'm using this to kind of distinguish between my two trees. Over here, I'll imagine I'm doing the tree behind it. And I'm turning my brush because this brush or this tree is、um, a little bit on the diagonal. Put it on this tree. This is where the paper that's ripped actually works really well because it pulls up the paint differently. You get a little bit on the background, just kind of rub it with your finger. You can also use water to dab it up a little bit. It is new. Golden brown. This is a nice touch. And you don't want to do too much of this.、Um, it'll take away from the effect of the leaves and everything on top. Just enough so we get the sense that these are birch trees. I'll concentrate a little bit down here because this will be the shadow, the darker part. And then kind of lighter as it goes. I'll distinguish between these two lines here. There we go. All right.、Um, so I'll wash the brush and then we'll do the leaves on top. So I'm going to start with、um, yellow. So that's the lightest color. That we'll use, and so it's best to start with that first so that it doesn't get overwhelmed.、And、what I'm doing is dabbing sideways with my round brush, and I'm making random clumps. These leaves aren't going to be uniform, like uniformly spaced. Just making clumps of color. Particularly on the ends of these thicker branches, I'm going to cover that up because they don't end、um, very naturally. <clears throat> Make sure you get some down here. If you have branches down low, there should be leaves attached to them as well. Could be more sparse leaves.、But、don't leave them hanging. <laughs> don't leave them hanging. Making sure to go on top of the tree trunks so that this top 
blends with the paper. That gives it a more natural kind of a feel. There we go. Okay. Next we'll do kind of an orangish tone. This one turned out kind of more coral. And you're just gonna dab a little bit on top as well. So I'm not trying to cover up all the yellow or all the white space either that was left from my yellow. Just following that clumping idea that leaves grow in clumps because they're attached to those branches. They make layers. Kind of just gotta go by eye. If you don't like how this turns out, try it again because you'll learn something from it and get better each time you do. Don't forget those ones lower down. some white space still because that's um, key to that like mottled look as the sun goes through branches. So from here, you can totally call it done, or you can keep on going. So I'll show you a few details that I like to add, and you can follow along or try your own. So I've got my skinny brush for my details. What I'm gonna do is just kind of refine these lines along the birch trees. The same color, just a little more concentrated because it's in a smaller brush. And it's okay that they're not perfectly straight because nature likes the variation of it. I'll kind of follow it up and decide, is this branch in front or behind? I'm gonna say it's behind this tree. Kind of draw that in, draw that in on the other side. There's another tree going behind it. So I'm just using my eyes to decide Follow those tree trunks and decide who's in front, who's in back. You can add some more lines if you'd like with your skinny brush. Along the side branches, you can add some that go sideways. It's like there's a little bit of blue that kind of receded from there, so we'll add some blue. Just kind of working our way, working my way around the picture, looking at all the different spots and deciding if it needs something more. You can also try for these birch trees adding um, a darker brown on the, that side. There's all kinds of ways you can do it.
This little branch here bugs me a little bit. I should have continued it with my washi tape. So I'm gonna pretend it ends a little bit sooner than it does by adding some very overt leaves over here. I'm gonna cover up the end. A little bit too chunky for the end. Oh, I forgot to add the red on top. So I think what I'll do for the leaves is use red as my detail leaf. So I'm gonna use my small brush and put um, small leaf shapes all throughout. So I can actually draw with this brush. So I'm kinda doing a, an abstract version of a leaf. Just random spots. Remember, leaves are clumping though, so I'm kind of doing it in similar spots and then leaving a space. Pointing different directions. They're actually like coming off of some of these branches. You can do the same with a couple of the other colors. You um, just pick up some orange, a couple of just drawn leaves. You'll have to do them since orange is the mid color. You'll have to do them on top of the yellow patch or one of the trunks or the sky so that they're seen. This is a good project um, for all ages and skill levels because you can really take it as you want. You can keep going as far as you want, you can stop where you want. So even older kids could do this, teenagers, inner artists, anybody. Just adapt it to your level and the colors you like. All right, I just picked my son up from preschool and he contributed a white crayon line right across, which luckily you can't really see. So to finish up, um, this is totally optional, but I'm gonna use a white correction pen. And this is the best white pen out there. It's literally from the dollar store. Um, it has so much like juice and ink in it um, that it can go over lots of different surfaces. So you sometimes have to clean off the nib um, and prep it on another piece of paper. But once it goes, it's got a lot of ink in there. 
And what I'm gonna do is just add little wispy lines for the extra branches. This will just kind of help liven up um, this piece with a little bit of detail. So I'm just going different ways with the branches. Just a little extra detail, just a cherry on top. Branches coming off of the main ones, off the side branches. A few little branches peeking through the trees here. We know which way they're gonna go. As I'm going, I'm squeezing this a little bit to get more ink out. Oh, I might have overdone it, but I really do love this pen, so. Hopefully I have it. And there we are. Here's our fall masterpiece. Um, I always see stuff after I declare that. It's so funny. So go ahead and sign your piece. Let me know how it went in the comments. And again, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Happy fall.